how do we find freshly fallen meteorites like this one? That's the most common question I've been asked after my recent recovery of the McDonough, Georgia meteorite. Let's talk a little bit about that process. When a new meteorite fall is witnessed, we call that a warm or fresh fall. Not because the rocks are hot, they're actually cool when they land, but because the trail is fresh and we've got a shot at finding them fast. The first step is Doppler radar. When a meteor enters the atmosphere and breaks apart, the falling debris can actually show up on weather radar just like rain or hail. That data helps narrow down where the meteorites might have landed. Then comes the reports. People who saw the fireball or heard a sonic boom. By comparing those accounts and radar data, searchers can pinpoint a likely fall zone, which is an area we call the strewn field. These usually stretch for miles and depend a lot on the trajectory of the meteor as it fell. Now, once you're in the strewn field, you just start walking and looking for rocks that don't quite fit in. Most meteorites are going to be dark, often a deep black with a frothy, slightly shining exterior, and that's called a fusion crust. If you watched my other videos, you've heard me talk about that before. One thing that can also be helpful here is that the rocks often fracture, exposing the interior that is a different color from the outer fusion crust. For example, the McDonough meteorite has a light ashy gray interior, so the contrast of these rocks is unique and notable. It's a lot about knowing what to look for. It's also worth mentioning here that some hunters use magnets in their search, usually at the end of a long stick or hiking pole. Most meteorites contain iron, so a magnet on a stick can help pick out fragments hidden in grass or gravel. But fair warning, not every magnetic rock is a meteorite. Plenty of Earth's rocks can fool you here. Magnets aren't a requirement for finding meteorites from fresh falls, but they can certainly be a helpful tool. That's basically it, though. It's knowing where to be and what to look for. After that, it's a lot of walking with your head down. Finding a meteorite takes lots of patience, sharp eyes, and a little bit of science. But when it all lines up and you spot that alien stone on the ground, I will tell you from firsthand experience, there's nothing quite like it. If you want to learn more about space rocks and see some of those in my collection, make sure to give the video a like and hey, maybe follow the channel and share it with a friend.